to Jesus I surrender All to Him I freely give People get mad because they're convicted God says love your neighbor and also says repent so repent and repent and believe the gospel. Since you know, love your neighbor, you should also know repent. Yeah. See, that's what the Bible says God can heal a lunatic. You see how this guy is full of demons? He's crazy. The Bible, the Bible teaches us in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John that, that Jesus can heal a lunatic. When you see people like this, you see because they're full of demons. The Bible teaches us that there are demons in people. And demons make you act irrational, they make you act crazy, and they make you yell and... and you want to say something? I Just as a Christian, I'm actually... You're, you're not a Christian. Yes, I am. No, you're, you're no, delusional. The Bible says in the last days... Uh, the, the Bible says in the last days people will be strongly deluded. Uh, Christians are full of love. They're, no. they're full of peace. They're full of long suffering. Not. These are the fruit of the Spirit. The Bible says when you accept Jesus Christ, you get the fruit of the Spirit. One of them is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, meekness, and self control. If you were a Christian, you would be just playing self control. You know what the Bible also says? Jesus says, Go out into the world and preach the gospel to every single creature, baptizing in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. So if you are truly a Christian, you'd be over here preaching to the lost. The Bible says there's going to come a day when Jesus is going to come back and he's going to judge the quick and the dead. The Bible says we're going to be judged for everything that we do in our body, for every sin that we committed, for every single idle word. Look at this so-called Christian. Now he's throwing up the double finger. That, that man is full of Satan. He's full of demons and he's full of the devil. And he needs to repent. And if he dies in his sins, he'll go to hell. If he really cared about you, he'd be out here preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible teaches us that these words are true and these words are life. Um, the Bible says that if you do not have Jesus, you are in darkness. Uh, God wants to take you from darkness into the light. Don't you understand that all these things are evil? Megan, or whoever this guy named in, Machine Gun Kelly, he's evil. If he doesn't repent, he's going to hell. His girlfriend with her plastic face, if she doesn't repent, she's going to hell also. If you guys die in your sins, you're going to hell also. The Bible says repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Don't you want to be saved, my friends? You know what this is? You're distracted because you're distracted from your terrible lives. Because if you live in sin, you have a terrible life. So what you're trying to do, amen. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to distract yourself. You're trying to distract yourself with an artist. He's not even that talented. He's not even that fun to, to, uh, to listen to. His music is trash. You know what you're just trying to do? It says you have nothing better to do. So what you do is say, hey, what we're going to do? Let's go watch this guy jump around on stage and sing some silly songs, my friends. But this guy didn't die for your sins. This guy doesn't love you. This guy could care less for you. Matter of fact, all he wants is your money. All he wants is your money. The Bible says that uh, the, the uh, hell wasn't invented for us. Hell was created for Satan and his angels. And I'm here to tell you today that this is satanic music and it leads to hell, my friends. It leads to a life of death. It leads to drug abuse. It leads to fornication. It leads to adultery. It leads to kids growing up without a mother or growing up without a father, my friends. That's why people come here and they pop mollies. They get drunk. They take MMDA just to come watch and you know why because this music is so trash that you gotta get high to enjoy it this music is so trash that you gotta get drunk to enjoy it if you were sober if you had a sober mind you wouldn't be here my friends you'd be in church you'd be over there uh, hanging out with your mother or your father you'd be somewhere that was more advantageous thank you god bless you i love you i love you hi fiance what's his name his name's Shane. Hi, Shane. God bless He's you, Shane. He's amazing. I love you, Shane. She loves you, Shane. Amen. I can't wait for you. That's right. Get married. This is beautiful. That's beautiful. God created marriage between a man and a woman. God bless this woman and Shane. I hope you guys have an excellent marriage in Christ. But the Bible says... Pardon me? Pardon me? Tell him he's the most fiancé I've ever met in my life. Shane, you're the most fiancé she ever met in her life. I love you, babe. I know you can't hear me because you're at Lindsay right now, but I love you. Amen, Shane. She loves you, and God loves you too. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through Jesus Christ the world might be saved. Neil, he's in Lindsay right now. Can you tell me you love him? 
I, I love you, Shane. What's Lindsay? You did? Oh, well, you see, because true love is in, true love is found in, in Christ. True love is found in God. True love is found in Jesus. The Bible says, once you accept Jesus, he'll never leave you or nor forsake you. How many men have you been with and they said, oh, I love you, but they left you or forsake you? How many women have you been with and they said, oh, I love you, but if you do something wrong, they leave you or forsake you? The Bible says Jesus Christ will never leave us, nor he'll never forsake us. The Bible says he'll never, uh, the Bible says uh, those who are in Christ will never be put to shame. Don't you want to... The, those who are in Christ will never be put to shame. The Bible teaches us that God is love. The Bible teaches us that the essence of God of who he is is love. Do you know all good and perfect gifts come from God? But we're supposed to use those gifts to celebrate God. We're supposed to You guys are blasphemers. Because what you're doing is about vanity and it's about yourself. Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm Catholic. Uh, are you Catholics are Christian? Uh, yeah, so repent, repent and believe in the real gospel of Jesus Christ. Stop praying to Mary. Uh, stop going to your father and, and, and ask, it's asking him for forgiveness. The Bible, uh, uh, Jesus Christ actually rebuked, rebuked Catholics. Uh, Catholics are responsible for pedophiles. Catholics are full of pedophiles and full of pedophilia. Your priest, your priest humped our little kids. You're, 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 now you're angry, huh? Look. And that's why I don't become Catholic, my friends. You see how angry and abusive Catholics are? Because your priests molest children, my friends. Your police, your priests molest children. We reject the Catholic Church because we don't, we're not supposed to pray to Mary. The Bible says there's only one, there's only one mediator between God and man, and it's the man, Christ Jesus, my friends. The Catholics, the Catholics are the ones that, that stole the natives' lands also. The Catholics are the ones that like to play with little boys' booty holes, but they don't put anybody in jail. Reject the Catholics, my friends and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Uh, I rebuke that blasphemer in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that Catholic in the name of Jesus Christ. He needs to repent and get right with God, my friends, because there's only one way to heaven, and it's through Jesus Christ. The Bible says, I am the way. Jesus says he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one will come to God except for through the Son, my friends, except for through the sons. We need to turn our back on the world. We need to turn our back on our, our, our selfishness. We need to turn our back on our fleshly devices and accept Jesus, my friends.